Hello, I am Pete Gerlach. I am a professional trauma recovery therapist. I've been doing that for 19 years, as well as family therapy for 31 years. One of the things that uh, many people struggle with these days in relationships and families and as persons is something called codependence. There is a growing awareness of what that is and there's also some confusion and misinformation. What I want to do in this video is introduce you to a couple of key things about the condition of codependence. As a way of gaining perspective on what I'm about to say, I encourage you to first watch this uh, brief video of mine on addictions that will give you some context with which to understand what I'm about to say. Here's the link. Um, that will open in a new window. Pause this video, watch that one, and then come back here and resume. Welcome back. The term codependence was originally co-alcoholic. That started to become public knowledge in the 1980s when a lot of public attention focused on alcoholism. It began to be realized at that time that alcoholism was not a character defect or flaw or a sin or it was a, fam a sign of family dysfunction. Part of that awakening in the public and in the mental health field was that there is a dynamic in many alcoholics' families called co-alcoholism. In effect, what that means is a partner of, or a family member, is way over-focused on the welfare and the behavior, the thoughts and the attitudes of an alcoholic. Since that uh, popular discovery in the 1980s, mental health professionals have discovered that many of the behavioral characteristics of co-alcoholics are exactly the same for people who are not in alcoholic or addicted families. So the term co-alcoholic has generalized into codependence. Um, what does that mean? If you have the condition as opposed to sickness or disease, if you have the psychological condition of codependence, it means that you are compulsively, um, you cannot control being over-focused on the welfare or the appearance or the attitudes or the behaviors or the happiness of another person, male or female, young or old, uh, typical symptoms, uh, there are many such symptoms, but typical ones are my happiness depends on your happiness. If you're unhappy, I'm unhappy. My well-being, my sense of security depends on your sense of security. If you're anxious and scared, so am I. Um, my well-being and my serenity depends on your appearance. I need you to appear in a certain way. If you don't, I become anxious and concerned and may intervene. These are just a couple of a group of symptoms that are characteristic of the psychological condition of codependence. Since the 1980s, as public awareness has grown of this widespread condition, which came about, by the way, by a pair of uh, popular books. They were so popular because they hit a widespread resonance in the reading public. Many, many people recognized they had this condition. It was a wake-up call. One was called, one book was called Codependent No More by Melody Beatty. Um, since that time, many people have become aware they or someone important to them have this kind of compulsive behavior. It is now viewed as a relationship addiction. It has the same characteristics as addiction to a substance or a mood state like rage or religious ecstasy or an activity 
like gambling or shopping. Codependence is a relationship addiction. One of the things that means is it is beyond logic. You cannot reason with somebody to stop being codependent. All addictions, in my professional opinion, after 31 years of study and recovering since 1986 from discovering that both my parents were functional alcoholics and I am an ACOA, adult child of an alcoholic family. I study, I have studied addictions a lot. And what you learned about addictions is they are not subject to logic, they are not free will, they are not a character defect, they are not a sin, they are not a sickness, they are not a disease, they are an unconscious reflex to reduce unbearable inner pain. Inner pain is a collection of very uncomfortable feelings like shame, I'm a terrible person, I'm unlovable, guilt, I broke a rule, oh I'm bad, fear or anxiety, rage, confusion, despair, sadness, being lost, not belonging, having no purpose. All of those are emotionally uncomfortable. When you have a collection of those, you need some way to deal with what is now loosely called inner pain. And what people discover on their own is addictions cause the inner pain to go down reliably every single time. The problem is, and the paradox is, addictions cause more inner pain. So they are reflexive. They reduce the pain, then they, they increase the pain. That is part of the reason that addictions, true addictions, are progressive. The more you're addicted, the more pain you have, the more you become addicted. So codependence is a relationship addiction. It is an unconscious way of reducing inner pain. It is a way of defocusing from yourself and avoiding looking inside of yourself and recognizing what's going on, what do I feel, what do I need. Focusing on another person does that wonderfully. So, what does this all mean? Um, what current mental health knowledge says is can codependence be reduced? The prevailing answer is yes. How? In my op uh, opinion, there are re two requisite ways to reduce codependence and for that matter any other addiction. One is to acknowledge that much inner pain is caused by people's families, either their birth families or their family of procreation, meaning marital families. Um, a lot of dysfunction, family dis dysfunctional families cause emotional pain for many or all of the members. Frustration, guilt, hurt, anger, shame, fear. So one way of reducing inner pain and thereby reducing the need for addictions is to look at your family's function, hire a family systems therapist, Look at your family's functioning and improve it. I'll show you in a minute some very effective ways of doing that. The second requisite of two in order to reduce the psychological condition of codependence is to do personal therapy to change the way you manage your inner pain. That's a complex subject which I'm not going to go into right now. I've studied how to do that for 19 years and there is a very effective way to learn how to identify the source of your inner pain and to rearrange and reorganize your personality subcells so that your inner pain goes down. So the goal here is reduce the source of outer pain, reduce your inner pain, manage your inner pain better. These are both doable. Many people have significantly 
reduce the condition of codependence and are living much happier, more serene, productive lives. If you have this condition, you can do this too whenever you're ready. Here are several resource links to help you learn more and perhaps begin to manage your condition. Study these Lesson 1 videos. Lesson 1 refers to my nonprofit educational website. Lesson 1, which is one of eight self-improvement lessons, focuses on recognizing early childhood trauma and resulting psychological wounds. The wounds are the source of inner pain. So study Lesson 1 and or study the related videos here on YouTube for Lesson 1. Um, you can also see this, this article. This is one of the articles you'll find on the website. Here's a link to it. You can also Google or use your favorite search engine on codependence. There is a ton of information available now. Unlike 20 years ago, people were just beginning to find out about it. Now there's a lot of awareness and an increasing amount of help, including a national support organization called CODA, Codependence Anonymous. It's based on the 12-step AA model and is helpful with one exception. The label Codependence Anonymous prolongs the myth that there's something shameful about this condition. In my biased opinion, there is nothing shameful whatsoever about having the need to manage inner pain. So there's a lot of resources available. You can use Google, find out about CODA, and there are therapists who specialize now in helping people reduce codependence. Uh, another resource I want to offer you is the videos here on YouTube for, uh, for Lesson 4, which are all about how to improve relationships. Codependence is a relationship addiction. It causes problems on both ends of a relationship. So I commend these Lesson 4 videos to you in addition to Lesson 1. There's a lot of knowledge available. Knowledge um, paves the way for reducing your inner pain and reducing your wounds and improving your relationships and life. Why not start today? If you have questions, please feel free to contact me on YouTube or on my website. I'd be glad to answer any questions or comment. Thanks for watching.